Hello, welcome to our tutorial on managing access levels in Dramatify for your key team members, crew, and cast. Setting the correct access levels is crucial for several reasons. Ensuring that each team member gets the necessary tools they need for their job. Limiting information access to protect your intellectual property and optimizing the subscription costs for your company. In Dramatify, you can add team members to either crew or cast. Let's start by adding a crew member to a new production. Click Crew in the sidebar menu and then the Add Crew button. As you can see, you have three alternatives, adding a new crew member, add from my network, meaning people you have worked with before in Dramatify, or upload a spreadsheet in the CSV file format, for instance, from Excel or Google Sheets. In this tutorial, we will add a single member. If your company has already produced other productions in Dramatify, you can add existing members from the drop-down menu to the left. Otherwise, click to add a new member. We add a name and an email address. Note that Dramatify doesn't send production invitations automatically. You decide when to send them. Now, you have two basic levels in Dramatify. Contributors are team members who work in Dramatify and who your company pays for. Read only are team members you need to manage and who may need access to view information but don't require editing capabilities. They are free of charge. Let's select Contributor. If no seats are available, one will be added to your subscription plan when you save. Dramatify will try to find an existing member with the email address you added, so there might be information in the header of the next page you haven't added. Rest assured, there is no ghost in the machine. It's just aggregated information. Select the position in the production for this member. Let's go with Production Manager. Now, I select Full Access in the drop-down. As you see, there is nothing more to choose from as the member is a production administrator with access to almost everything, including crew and cast personal information, such as home addresses and in case of emergency information. If I, on the other hand, select Tailored Access, you can suddenly tailor the access according to the member's role and access requirements to work efficiently. As you can see, each of these accordions holds more detailed access rights. By checking the box to the left of the feature name, you add access to read. Click the arrow on the right to add access to add and edit information. While this list may seem overwhelming initially, a shortcut is to click the Set Default Values for Selected Position button. Then, Dramatify will suggest which access suits the selected position, and you have something to start with. Add and remove access as needed by checking and unchecking permissions to fit your production. Remember to save at the end of the page. Access for the cast initially looks slightly different, but the cast form is the same as for the crew. Let's click Character and Cast in the sidebar menu, and then Add. Select Cast Member. You recognize the following page from the Crew section. If your company have worked with the cast member before, select them from the drop-down list on the right-hand side. But let's add new member to this production. As you see, the pop-up is the same as for the crew. Now, for the cast, you will usually select Read Only, as they mainly need to read scripts and rundowns shared files, call sheets, and day plans. However, for entertainment, sports, talk shows, current affairs, documentaries, and some children's programs, it's common that hosts and anchors are also script writers. Then, you select Contributor. If you want to add or edit access for existing cast members, the cast lists in fiction and non-fiction productions look slightly different reflecting how different genres work with the cast. However, the functionality is the same. Click the name and the Edit Member Details button to set the selected access on the production profile. You may want to administer users and access on the company level for several reasons. Get an overview and manage all your company's members. 
Secure a finished production by moving members to read-only or no access. Open up seats by moving members to read-only and upgrade or downgrade your subscription plan. Let's start in the company section, the central location for managing access and payments. Click on Company in the top navigation and select your company. If you can't see your company name, you do not have the right to access this section, but fear not. You will learn helpful information anyway. Click on People in the sidebar menu. The People section is your overview of everyone added to the productions in your company account. It also shows who and how many members Dramatify charge your company for. As you can see, there are two sections. First, the contributors, the team members who work in Dramatify and for whom your company pays a seat. Then, read-only, which is free, where members have read-only access or none at all. In both sections, you see which productions each person belongs to, their access level in each production, and their status. For instance, if they are active or have been invited to a production but have yet to be accepted. Note that team members can be part of multiple productions and have different roles and access levels in each production. You only pay once for each contributor, regardless of whether they are working on one or a hundred productions. To the left of each production name, you see that there is an icon. It indicates at a glance which type of access the user has to that production. The key means that they are production administrators with full access to the production. The pen means they have tailored access and can work in specific sections of Dramatify. The eye signifies that they can only read particular sections, such as scripts and rundowns, call sheets, shared documents, and more. You can move your team members between the two levels, upgrading read-only members to contributors and downgrading contributors to read-only to free up seats and, if desired, decrease the seats you pay for by adjusting the seats in the billing section. To move a member from read-only to contributor, hover over the right-hand side of the member row and click the Edit Invite button. Edit the member by clicking the Edit icon in the upper part of the pop-up and selecting Contributor. If no seats are available, one will be added to your subscription plan when you save. As you can see, this member is now on the contributor list, which takes us to the next step to change access or add a member to a new production. Contributors can be production admins with full access to everything in a production or have tailored access with access to the tools and information they need. To change our new contributor member from read only, we again hover over the right-hand side of the member row and click the Edit Invite button. Click the drop-down button to the right of the production name to set the new access level. You can also add the person as a member of a new production by clicking the Invite to Production drop-down and selecting the production. You select their role in the production and then the access level. To move a member from a paid seat to read only, click the Edit Invite button to the right of their name to bring up the pop-up. The first step is to set the access to read only on all productions they are active in. Click the Access Level drop-down to the right of the production name and select Read Only. Next, click the pen icon to the right of the username at the top of the pop-up and click Contributor. You want this set to read only. Remember to save before closing the pop-up. You may sometimes want to delete a member. Click the Edit Invite button to the right of their name to bring up the pop-up. Then press Delete Member in the lower left corner. Note that you will erase all production information about the member, but their personal profile will remain if they have accepted the production invite or previously had a Dramatify profile. Dramatify also has two speciality access levels. The first and most important is the company administrator. 
anyone who signs up to Dramatify and starts the first production is automatically the company administrator. That means they can subscribe, change the subscription plan, administer account users, create and archive productions, and delete the entire account. We suggest that you always add at least a second company administrator to avoid an orphaned account if something happens to the first administrator or they leave for another job. The person you want to make into a company admin must be an existing contributor member of your company account. Click the Edit Invite button and click the pen icon in the upper part of the pop-up. Check the company administrator box and remember to save. The other speciality level is for larger non-fiction productions like entertainment and sports, where you can distribute the rundown for non-Dramatify members through a QR code or link with an optional shutdown date. This functionality means it's easier for studio staff, camera operators, translators, and other crew to access the rundown. To summarize, Dramatify has two main account levels, contributors, which your company pays for, and read-only, which are free. Contributors can hold full access and tailored access. Everyone can have read-only or no access to productions, as team members can be part of multiple productions. That's all for this tutorial. We offer a free trial at Dramatify.com. And remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and follow if you liked it. See you next time. Bye for now.